Dude, God Almighty! What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Bubble Bassin. We are here at uh, one of our private lakes. Uh, I told y'all I was going to try to get on a five pounder last video, and I give you a little update on the uh, giveaway uh, to a thousand subscribers. I added uh, first through third that's going to win prizes. Um, all you got to do is go to that uh, video in the corner here, and then uh, go like and comment on that video, and also subscribe if you're new. So uh, stay tuned and hopefully enjoy the video. Storm, I haven't been down there to look at anything. We already got a bass. <laughs> we started the day with a two pounder. Nice. <laughs> but, all right, dude. All right, buddy. All right, dude, later. Good way to start the day off. Got a little two pound fish. Y'all gonna see some more. Bubba's back here rigging up. We're about to move to some wood. And we were fishing this hard bank here where the dam is. And I was looking all around here, flipping in here, hooked one right there off that grass clump. And you look all the way up this edge, and like right in there, I found the biggest snakeskin I have ever seen before in my life in Virginia. Water could have it bloated up, but I think this was a really big snake. Like, I didn't get the full length of it. But look how wide that skin is. My fingers are about four and a half, five inches long. Like this, this snake. I, I, I don't know. This, it's kind of grody. It's like a big rubbery. I don't know. Nasty. And this wind's not cooperating, but. Oh, that's him. It's alright. We're gonna get back at him. Nice little chunk. Look at the pretty lines on him, Steve. Nice little dink. I mean, he's a little one pounder, but. He'll do. Look at him, guys. Alright, guys. So, right now I'm throwing a Bubba Foot Custom Baits. Uh, throwing a Bubba Foot Custom Baits Screwy Lock Football Head on a uh, 4.5 Venom Lures Better Beaver Green Pumpkin with the uh, little tips down here dyed with my Spike It Dip and Glow uh, Garlic Scented Dip. And basically, what I did was is I cast it in that tree you saw me working. Uh, I let it fall and I felt it hit every limb on the way down. I felt it get contact with the bottom. As soon as I did that, I lifted up, gave it a nice little dead stick nudge, and I just felt her start digging down with it. And then I set the hook, and then pow, she's in the boat. So it's a nice little, nice little surprise for the day already. I mean, we already got uh, three fish in the boat. Well, we got two now, and Steve lost one. So, but hopefully, we can continue the bite. I'll just pick all the wood like this. There's the tree right there. I always catch at least two or three out of the trees, so we're gonna get back at it. All right. Gemini. <laughs> Dude, he was moving. Look, look, look. He moved it from the turtle to right here. I was just. 
I knew it was a small fish, but mm -hmm. he, he a big old worm, dude. Now you know, you just let him eat it. And he just barely had the hook in him, didn't he? <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. Little pounder. I do have my papa with me. <laughs> that fish just loaded up on that one. I didn't even feel him. Yeah. It's either I said it was a tree or a fish, and it just kept coming towards me. I was like, all right. Chatter, chatter, chatter. <laughs> Reminds me of an uh, Upchurch song where he says, fire, 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 fire. Yeah. <laughs> well, feels good to be catching fish instead of sitting on the couch. For me, at least. I haven't been able to do this in a while. Hooked up? Decent? Oh yeah, good stuff, dude. Jerk baits and bass. All right, guys. So y'all saw me catch three fish off a of chatterbait. Uh, this is not my custom chatterbait. This is a Z-Man original chatterbait, three eighths ounce. Um, I got a uh, Venom Lures. 3.8 donkey snatcher on there on the back is a trailer and uh, I got it paired with uh, Seaguar red label fluorocarbon and then I have a uh, loose speed spool uh, This is an 8 0 to 1 on a Fitzgerald cranking rod 7 foot 6 and all we're doing is we're tossing to The uh, tips of the trees and I'm running the chatterbait through it as soon as I feel that knock Right out of the tree. They usually smoke it They've been in, inhaling it from the back of the chatterbait. You can see the meat of this thing just kind of peeled up back here. But, um, so I got to put a new one on. But all we're doing is toss them to the trees. Y'all saw me catch a couple with the worms too. Uh, Shinbone's got on a few. He, he should be catching, he's, he's due for a donk here in a second. I, I feel it. You know how Shinbone does. He just kind of gets up in there and just says, Big bass, bro, get the net. <laughs> Bruh. Yeet. Yeet, yeet. But if you know you hit the like and subscribe button and we're gonna get back to fishing. Just got my new trailer on and uh I'm gonna see if I can eat some more bass. Toad? I don't know. Probably a stiff back or something. Nope, it's a big fish. It's two of them. I got two bass. Yeah. Bro, get out. This is stupid. <sighs> Were you guys hungry? Get your phone out. I was like, it felt weird when I was reeling it in, like everything was bobbing all around. 
Get the big one off first. I think they might be schooling over here. Yeah, I'm about to throw the A-Rig. You're gonna need the pliers for the last one. That's a bird for me, man. I've seen people do it and I always thought it was fake. I dumped my hand up here. Sweet. Wanna take a picture of both of them? <laughs> Sorry about the cigarette. Um, I was working a jerk bait, just twitching it slow. And uh, got two on one jerk bait. We always thought it was fake. People catching two fish on a on a crankbait or whatever, but obviously it's not. Sweet. Well, looks like I'm gonna throw a jerk bait. Or I should throw the A rig. Yes. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Oh, huh? I can say I've never done it. First for me. I've always wanted to catch two fish at one time. I've done it on a uh, A-Rig. I've caught all fish all through here with a jerk bait, like in the middle. Yeah. How you doing? Just tipping it? Yeah. Hey, Rick. Toad. Keep it low. Keep it low. Hold on. I'm trying to get this hand on. I can't stay focused here. Sorry. Right. He's got a bunch of hooks in him. <laughs> he got one through his back, one through his mouth. Sorry, right, bud. Baits on there. The venom jig heads and venom swim tails. Smoking that monkey. Fat belly on that thing. Look oh yeah. Slow rolling. Uh, yeah. I caught him on the uh, Venom Lures uh, donkey snatches with the Venom Lures uh, screw lock uh, swim bait jigs. Probably about 15 more where that one come from. That's a little chunk. Melanonin spot on his screen there, you see it? This is where I caught him with the jerk bait. You throw a jerk bait over here yet? This is the spot. If I hit again. Throw you get your jerk bait out. I'm serious. I, I threw it, started reeling it twice, boom. I just want some size now. That's got some size on it. Slow, slow, low and slow, low and slow. No, he ain't that big. No, oh, he's that big. He's pretty good. Fat body. Nice little chunker. Nice. Good fish. A good fish. Hey, what I'm doing, I need to work my bait a little bit further offshore. That one hits you about 15, 20 feet off the boat. Here. 
So you know what? Old school love. It might have moved down some. Could have. Nah. Huh? He's just a a dink pounder. Still a fish. They might have moved down some. That's a nice one. I'm bringing them through this way because that's where he got caught at. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the fish riled up. We slam here in about three, two, one, dink. Should be throwing the A rig, but I just don't believe in that thing sometimes. That cash right on top of you. A little bit, but you're not on me though. Ah, uh, it's hard to tell. That's a good one. Oh, fat belly. He almost broke you off there. Look, and you'll saw me see catch the one? reason why. Look at that. Right in that, they're right in that gullet, dude. The old shad tail hanging out there. So, nom, 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 you nom, just, nom, see, nom, you nom, just nom. saw us catch like maybe 15, oh no, not 15, but you just saw us catch probably eight or nine. He's bleeding a little bit, bud. And uh, I'm gonna let him go back. Uh, we've been hearing them hit the rattles. We love you, Sooner. That's why we do it. At least we'll admit it why we do it, not like some other people. But um, we're hearing them hit the jerk bait, and as soon as we we pop it real hard, it goes. As soon as they hit it, and that's what happens. I told Steve I'm gonna put the big fish jerk bait on, and I upgraded a little bit. You know, it's about eight ounces. Bom bom bom. Me <laughs> needs to be like a three pound call. <laughs> we're gonna get back at it. Caught a dink, guys. I didn't get him on camera, but you know how that goes, people. He's off that tree end. Those guys aren't serious, though. Those bass that are just kind of yeah. Talk about the bass that I'm missing. They're they're not serious. Bass, not old guys. I said those bass aren't as serious. Sun's totally gone though too.
big one. Stop me in my tracks, bro. Appreciate it, bro. He hooked by the hair on his chinny chin chin. <laughs> say about a four pounder. Say about four, yeah. We can get a weight on him. Got scale? Yeah. If I have the scale, I don't think I have it. I know it ain't that box. That box loaded for the feet. I don't have the scale, guys, but uh, nice chunk caught off the uh, old the old chatter bait. Get venom. Get there. Bye, girl. Thank you for biting. So, Bubba, what were you doing? I was fishing. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, all right. No, I was just doing what I've been doing all day. Um, throwing this chatterbait with the venom. Uh, well, she's just mutilated now. Y'all you, you can see that. Like, I've done probably caught 16 fish, I think. Something like that. Biggest one of the day so far, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I've just been throwing this original series chatterbait with the uh, Venom uh, Donkey Snatcher 3.8. This is the pearl color. Um, mm -hmm. This chatterbait's 3 8 ounce. Throwing it on the same setup I was earlier, as y'all saw. Um, just slow rolling it, and... Uh, I looked at Steve, looked back, started reeling again. That thing just stopped me right in my tracks. Like it just, it's like you were, it's like you just walked around the corner and just got punched in the jaw. So uh, that was one of my biggest fish so far in the last couple weeks and uh, pretty stoked to get back out there. So see y'all in a second.